My, my, what manner of place is this? A patch of ground to call home. Some rest for the wicked, after all. What would suit the occasion? Hmm. The words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that, love, was that. <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormier, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Neither. The fox, rather. Hiding, in a word. A silent observer about to break the silence. Of course, what I have to say merits some privacy, as well as some more, let's call it, refinement. Yes, this encampment is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Because my compassion is boundless, I stride among the needy, giving comfort where I can. And you're in dire need. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself, shop around, beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. <laughs> I've always wondered what a laughing mind flayer sounds like. All those pretty little symptoms Sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out.
Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. Good, you got there eventually. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food, us. Perhaps you didn't. See? Sowing doubt is an old trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Do you feel as flattered as I do? A cambion came courting us. Quite right. Either Daddy had a tryst with the succubus or Mummy with an incubus. What they lack in kind-heartedness, they make up for with horns and tails. Still, don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation, it merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us, badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. our souls. But I suspect that's but his opening offer. Let me play the devil deals advocate. The man is too eager. Do not dismiss his offer out of hand. This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. I will sit astride one. It is only a matter of time. I will ride a red dragon. I will wield the silver sword, and I will conquer every layer of hell should my queen command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the hells, this is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Blackest sight pierces the many planes. 